Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. We had those splash and dash showers and thunderstorms for a few spots of the valley earlier this evening, but most of the valley did stay dry, like in York. I was out there at the York Fair. I'll be out there again tomorrow evening. It was pleasant but warm. Be prepared for the heat and the humidity go up, and it's likely we're going to have another heat wave on our hands and possibly challenge some record highs in the coming days. Quiet right now in York. That is the case across the valley. We're keeping an eye on a few isolated thunder showers well northwest of the valley may see enough energy to trigger one or two north of the turnpike as we head through the night. Most of us will just see mostly clear skies with muggy conditions and lows near 70 degrees, and there could be some fog in areas that did see some heavier downpours earlier today. Mostly sunny first thing tomorrow morning, but then get ready. Temperatures rise into the 90s. It's going to feel like it's in the mid 90s when you factor in the humidity, and this is just a taste of what's to come. We will stay dry with mostly sunny skies. Made it to 82 for our high today after a morning low of 67 picked up just three one hundredths of an inch of rain out at the airport. 73 right now at the airport, it's 74 in Lancaster, 75 if you're watching us in both Gettysburg and also in Chambersburg. But here's the intense heat, that historic heat that is still building off to our west. Temperatures close to 90 degrees all the way up near the Canadian border, actually north of the border. And with this heat is a powerful storm system that's going to cross over the Great Lakes and start to move into the region heading into Thursday. So tomorrow's going to be hot, even hotter into Thursday and Friday, where it's going to feel like at times it's near 100 degrees. So watch what happens here on the predictor. Pretty quiet through the night tonight and also for your Wednesday. Just be prepared. It is going to be a hot day tomorrow. Take some breaks, drink extra water as those feels like temperatures will climb into the mid 90s. Heading into Wednesday evening, there could be a few isolated showers over northwestern Pennsylvania, but they should miss us. It's on into Thursday as the storm system crosses over the Great Lakes region that will start to see the chances for passing showers and storms start to rise. And it's during the afternoon evening hours, some of these storms could be strong, potentially severe as we reach that maximum heating. We are already under a slight risk for severe weather. That is a level two out of five for a large portion of the Susquehanna Valley. Greater risk for areas mainly uh, east of Gettysburg and Harrisburg west, a little bit of a lower chance for these strong, severe thunderstorms. So on Thursday, damaging winds, heavy rainfall, definitely heavy downpours possible and hail is a possibility. This environment does not look like it's favorable for tornadoes, but look at these temperatures on Thursday. We're forecasting a high of 96. The record is 99. Friday, we're forecasting 96. The record is also 99. And on Saturday morning, forecasting a low of 74. The record warmest low temperature for Saturday morning is 76. So it's going to be an intense heat out there. And that's why Thursday and Friday are impact days. Still hot out there on Saturday, but better chances for passing showers and storms. Some of those storms may linger into Sunday, but temperatures do start to drop back down closer to seasonable averages and the humidity drops as well for early parts of next week.